Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my session in SEC 2019. Today, I'm going to talk about the voice assistance that SmartThings is supporting right now and how these assistants can benefit our users, device makers, and service providers. I'm Joan Kim from Samsung Electronics. Today, we invited a special speaker, Daniel Kolasnikov, the head of product marketing of Alice and Yandex. Hi. SmartThings is the IoT platform that seamlessly works with various voice assistants. It works with Bixby, Yandex Alice, Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and Aligini in Chinese market. For the SmartThings user who connected their device to our cloud, they can control their devices by voice using these voice assistants. For that, we developed cloud-side applications that interact with each voice assistant cloud. They listen to the, all the events happening to the user account, and they sync these information, devices, locations, and scenes, and et cetera, et cetera, to each voice cloud for training. Using this information, they train this IoT data. Once the training is done, uh, they are ready to take the user turns. If you user say something like turn on the light in each different languages, then they go into the cloud of the voice assistants, and they will understand that user want to control a light, and the smart things can handle that request. These voice intents come to our applications, and they convert those intent to the IoT protocol that SmartThings is using to control devices. So SmartThings Cloud controls the light. SmartThings currently supports 28 device types, ranging from home appliances like TV, refrigerator, air conditioner, to small things like light bulbs, uh, motion sensor, open cruise sensors. If you develop uh, the coverage of the device type are different by voice assistance, but if you are developing one of these device type and your customer is using one of these voice assistants, then a lot of voice feature will follow to your SmartThings devices through the SmartThings platform. What feature they can actually use from voice assistants? They can control the device by voice, of course, which is quite common features of all voice feature right now. So they can say, turn off the light in the living room, then they already know the living room light in the user account, and they control the light. They can also ask the current status of home, what's the temperature, humidity, or alerting situation, like whether there is open to, door is open or closed, or there is water leak is detected. Oh water leak is detected or not. They can also execute a scene by voice. Scene is a group of device controls that user can configure in their SmartThings app. So if user create something like good morning scene and group a device control that you have to do manually every morning, then by saying run good morning scene to nearby AI speaker, the AI speaker already know the good morning scene you created in the app and we'll execute it. So that user doesn't need to, when they wake up, doesn't need to go to the phone, unlock the screen, open the app, and navigate to the scene UI page. By just voice, they can execute the scene. Not only control the device at the time that you just say something, they also can schedule the device control using automation. Saying turn off all the lights at 11 o'clock or sunset, then, Bixby registered this occurrence, this automation to our SmartThings automation engine so that when the time comes, it automatically turn on all the lights. You can also use the geological condition saying, turn off all the thermostat when I leave home. Then when you leave the home, bring your phone, then SmartThings automation engine will turn off all the thermostat for saving your energy bills. To bring these voice features, what should device makers do? The answer is quite simple. 
simply integrate their devices to our SmartThings platform. As you can see in the center figure, SmartThings Cloud supports various device types. If you're developing Zigbee G-Wave devices, your device can be connected through SmartThings Hub. If you're developing Wi-Fi devices, we provide SDK. With that, you can directly connect your devices to our cloud. If you already have device connected to your own cloud, then we provide SmartThings API. With that, you can make a C2C connector to connect your device to our cloud. All these development tasks can be easily done in our developer workspace. So we already have the developer workspace in the code lab in the SmartThings booth out there. So end of this session, don't forget to opportunity to try the developer workspace. Once your device, so we have currently more than 100 partners in our SmartThings ecosystem and more than 5,000 devices types are working in our SmartThings ecosystem. Once your devices are connected to our SmartThings cloud, then our SmartThings app can control and monitor your devices. That means more than 45 million active users across the world are ready to use your device. Then what you should do to support voice feature further? There's actually nothing. Means once your devices are connected to our cloud, SmartThings platform will understand your features and make the utterance for the selected features each voice assistance. So that means on the day one that your customer purchase your device and connect to your, our SmartThings cloud, they can control your devices by voice, one of these voice assistants. So far, we talk about something about more common voice feature that SmartThings provides for all the voice assistance users. We now talk about more advanced feature that SmartThings is providing for our uh, Bixby users. Bixby is Samsung's IoT platform. <laughs> if you just say something to Bixby, then the utterance goes up to the cloud. In the cloud, there are capsules. There are many capsules. For example, weather capsule for weather service, maps capsule for navigation, SmartThings capsule, of course, for IoT, and Spotify capsule for music service, and calendar capsule for schedule and reminder. We also open our uh, developer works, de uh, developer portal, where any developer can come and create their own captures for their own intelligence services. Once their captures are launched in the BigCB capsule, then users can use the features through this BigCB assistance and mobile phone, but also in our home appliances, like upcoming television, refrigerator, and air conditioner, or gear watches like this. So we keep thinking about how we can improve this experience way further, like a genie in the magic lamp waiting for their ma his master's call. These voice features are intelligent, but cannot be used until you just say something to Bixby. So this passive way of using the intelligent services, I think we, we, this is a big bottleneck for the user experience, and we think it can be improved way further using SmartThings automation. So what's a SmartThings automation? Suppose you want to turn off the light when a specific sensor detects your motion. You can create an automation in our SmartThings app. Then our automation engine keep listening to the sensor. And if a motion detect is detected from the sensor, then our engine automatically turn on the light. Using the same feature, we extend the feature such that when the motion is detected, we can execute the capture. That means if you go to the motion sensor near the front door, using the weather capsule, BigCB will proactively tell you that it's going to rain, prepare umbrella. 
You don't need to keep remember every time you, when you go out to ask the weather or there's going to be rain. But you, Bixby will tell you automatically. You can use other conditions like schedule, sunset, sunrise, or member's location and device status as a, device con uh, as a condition of this automation. So I prefer one example. Suppose you wake up in every sunrise. You want to hear the today's weather schedule and some music from Bixby, right? Then in the SmartThings app, you go to our AI speaker device plugin, quick comments, and then you can type in any utterance you want to ask or you want to automate. Here, I made a good morning quick comment and type in like, open the curtain. So they will automatically open the curtain in the morning. Or what's the weather today? So in this example, I made up four utterances for the name of Good Morning Group and put that in our automation together with the condition with everyday sunrise. With this automation, you will see this every morning at sunrise. Saturday, October 19th, 2019. In San Jose, it is clear and 55 degrees right now. It takes one hour and eight minutes to drive to San Francisco with traffic. Playing live radio 102.7 KIS FM Los Angeles on iHeartRadio. I just want to take the time. So in this automation, I used only for time condition, which is sunrise. You can use the device condition also for this automation. Such as in this example, when I come home from office, I set up an automation every 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. When the door lock is open, then I'm going to lights on and turn on TV and we'll ask about tomorrow's weather and schedule, etc. Then you will see this when you come home. Tomorrow in San Jose, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 71 degrees and a low of 53 degrees. Okay, there are two events in your calendar. Meeting with Jaden at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And the last is workshop with Patrick at 3 p.m. So in this presentation, I just gave you two examples of using automation to execute Bixby captures. SmartThings have a lot of different devices that can trigger a lot of different Bixby captures. That means we believe that our users will come up with many different combinations to use Bixby's feature proactively using SmartThings automation. So far, I have discussed about some details about Bixby. From now on, Daniel Kolesnikov will talk about the Yandex integration to Bixby. Please welcome Daniel. Thank you. Thank you, it's really nice to be here. Uh, I want to talk uh, with you about a uh, new revolution in user interface, in the voice revolution. And, but first of all, who knows about Yandex in this audience? <laughs> I see several uh, <laughs> people here. But <clears throat> let me uh, quick uh, talk about it. Yandex has been helping people uh, to solve their problem with a range of products and services since 1997. First as a search engine, and then as a whole universe of products uh, which uh, give people in different sphere of life new way how to solve their problems, like uh, education, like navigation, entertainment, etc. Two years ago, we launched our own voice assistant called Alice. Alice is a smart voice assistant with a natural conversation technology inside it. Thanks to heavy-duty machine learning technology, any person could talk with Alice on any topic. And 
people in Russia really love Alice. If you ask them, what voice assistant do you know? They answer like this. Um, Alice right now available on the different platforms, ranging from smart speakers to connected cars. And more than 45 million users talked with her every month. This spring, we launched our own smart home platform. And thanks to Samsung, SmartThing became one of the first platforms which integrate to Alice. So now every user of Alice could control their smart home devices from Samsung by using their voice. And we truly believe that voice is changing paradigm how people integrate with offline and online world. If you see on this number, 96% users prefer voice to control their home devices compared to their uh, apps. And uh, this number is significant. People ask Alice not only to play music or turn on the light, they make a more uh, significant scenario, like you show us previously, when you came home and said, hello, Alice, and all things started working. So our smart home platform has open API. So any developer could integrate with her. We integrate ecosystem. And uh, we truly believe the voice changing the way how people in Russia work and um, live their life. Uh, we open to new partnership for the benefits of our users. And we truly believe that Alice could help uh, to control smart home devices across the globe. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Daniel. So it's time to wrap up. So as we mentioned, we discussed smart things. Seamless work with various voice assistants using, I mean, Bixby, Yandex, Alice, Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and LG in Chinese market. To support these voice assistants to your IoT devices, you can simply connect your devices to our SmartThings platform. Then, all the voice features of these voice assistants will automatically follow, with no additional efforts from the developer side. That's actually a pretty, pretty nice uh, advantage for the developers, because just one common development effort can scale up to all the voice assistants of these five and more upcoming voice assistants. We also thought about how the SmartThings automation can make these Bixby's powerful intelligent features more actively can be used by users. So by leveraging the voice output and external devices, I th we think that our users will find a more useful combination of automation that use Bixby intelligent features. And Yandex, Alice, and SmartThings, we tightly cooperate to expand our coverage of the sm smart home devices. So we will also cover more device type in the near future to make our customers more happy. Thank you very much.